It's been six months since I've been taking Tercrasterone. Just a little update for you. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name's Jason. Here on this channel, I do food and product reviews, some supplement reviews, some whey protein reviews. Today, we're gonna be talking about Black Forest Tercrasterone. Now, I know there's a lot of opinions out there. Is it real? Is it what it says it is? Plenty of other videos on there. I've been taking it for, like I said, six months now. I've gone off it for a few weeks just to test myself. Am I feeling any effects? So when I went off it, I originally was planning on taking like two months off. I was gonna take most of the summer off not taking it. And I made it about two weeks and I believe it was like my last update video or the one before where I was like, you know what? I'm seeing huge differences in the amount I can lift in my energy levels. It's just not worth it. So I decided to get back on it. And I've been taking four a day. I think I'm gonna go down to two again, just to see if I'm noticing much difference between four and two. I'm on four. Recovery time is, I mean, I don't have soreness like the next day, other than injuries. I do have shoulder pain, a rotator cuff injury that I've been dealing with for I think months now, but that aside, like I don't wake up, I'm stiff, I can't lift. If I can't lift, it's mainly because of an injury and I don't just completely stop lifting. I lift around the injury. I take out, you know, um, exercises that cause pain and it's getting better. I was, and I've changed up my uh, routine too. I was doing a push, pull, leg, push, pull, leg off. Um, schedule. And I just felt that back to back, even though, you know, you're working different, you know, different muscles, it was still just a lot on that shoulder. So I went to a, like a push leg, pull off, push leg, pull off. That way I um, separated any lifting with the upper body having a day, whether it was a leg day or an off day in between those. So I could get more rest. I've been doing that for about two weeks. Yesterday I did a push and today I did a pull. I put them back to back just because I'm going on vacation on Friday. So I want to get as much lifting in this week before I leave, because I don't know, I'm going to be gone for almost two weeks. I don't know how much, um, lifting I'm going to do while I'm on vacation. I'm going to Disney. So I am planning on hitting the gym at least a couple times. I don't want to take the whole time off. I just don't know how busy I'm going to be there. I'm going to try to shoot some videos. So I don't know how much free time I have to lift. So I'm trying to get as much in this week. But with that being said, having a push and a pull back to back, um, both days felt good. Yes, I did wake up this morning with, again, the rotator cuff shoulder pain, but it wasn't it didn't hurt me while I was lifting. And even today when I was doing pull, I didn't feel it. So getting better. And when I come back, I will keep that push leg pull off routine going. So, I mean, again, there's going to be a lot of people out there say it's not what it is. It's a ecti steroid, not tercasterone. Honestly, again, it works for me. What it actually is, I'm not that concerned about. If I feel effects from it and it helps my lifting, then that's why I take it. Um, there are links down in the description if you want to purchase it. Yes, I do make a small commission off it and that is greatly appreciated. It does help the channel, but I'm not here sponsored by them to where they're like, hey, you have to push our pills. You have to do this. They don't even tell me I have to make videos. They don't send these to me for free anymore. I pay for these and yes, I keep buying them because I want to keep taking them. So, Leave it in the comments below if you've tried them, if you've tried any brands, you know, what do you, what do you see off it? I mean, I, I hear people say, you know, obviously it helps with the recovery time. They're able to lift heavier. And that's what I saw too. Not only when I went off for those two weeks, did I see my energy go down, my, my strength went down. I started um, dropping plates. Like I had to go down levels on my plates. I couldn't lift as much. So that again, all those reasons are why I went back on it. Um, again, I only took two weeks off. So with that being said, uh, like I said, it's been like a month since I've done any update videos. I have been working other than that shoulder issue. I, and I have videos on my channel. I, you know, I got the SF3 from Costco, the Smith functional trainer. 
I have it set up in my bedroom. I have free weights in there, um, some barbells. I work out like a five to six days a week. No excuses, even working through injuries. So I'm lifting, I'm doing cardio. I have my bike out in the living room. So I do a half hour every day on the bike and I lift for about an hour a day, other than my off days. Uh, have put in a, a little weight. I mean, I think the last update uh, in, when was it? Like August or a month ago, late August, right? I think is the last update I did. I was about 162, 163. Right now I'm 165-ish. It varies, 164 to 166, right in that range. I'm trying to lose a little weight before I go on vacation, so I've been eating a little less. And I've said it in other videos, my diet hasn't been good. I eat a lot of crap, a lot of snacks, and I started seeing my weight go up. So that has cut down a lot, not completely, um, but I did get rid of a lot of snacks. I was eating a lot of, you know, like lean cuisines, microwavable meals. Um, I still have those. I don't eat as much. I've started cooking more. I know I've said in other videos, I don't cook much, but I've started doing that. I will cook like four or five chicken breast, like on Monday, like on one of my days off. Um, several bags of uh, brown rice, throwing some peppers, some pineapple. And I'll cook that up and put it in different containers. So I'll have like five, six meals out of that. So that's, I've been eating a lot of that, you know, chicken and rice, which is delicious. So I do that almost every week now. I make that. Um, I have my protein shakes, which I started using um, Rise, the jet puffed whey protein. Oh, that stuff is delicious. Like my favorite protein powder right now, Rise Jet Puff. Doesn't taste like marshmallows. I, even though it's called marshmallows, it tastes more like a cake batter, but it is, if you haven't tried that protein, not sponsored by them or anything, but I'm just saying, go check it out. I got it from the vitamin shop. So you can get it probably from them or maybe on their website, Jet Puffed Whey Protein from Rise is my absolute favorite protein powder right now. If you're new here and you haven't been following my updates, you're probably like, okay, well, what has this done from you? How, what kind of change have you seen in the six months? So let's go ahead and take a look at photos. So the photo on the left is like day one, right when I first started taking Turk. And photo on the right is today. Get that off there. So and obviously you can see on the left, day one, I was 155, where today I'm, I weighed myself and let me check real quick. Was it 163 or 164 today? 164. So about nine pounds heavier. I am definitely lifting more than I was back then, lifting heavier, lifting more frequently. You know, back then I was, you know, I would go to Planet Fitness and I would, I was wasn't getting there every day of the week, maybe twice a week, I think. Back then I was going to Planet Fitness and I would work out at home too. I didn't have the SF3 at that time. I just had some free weights. So I wasn't lifting. I was lifting almost every day, six days a week, but just not as heavy as I am now. So it has definitely helped me with recovery time. I'm able to recover quicker. I'm able to lift heavier. So that's why I take it. And that's why I will continue to take this for some time now. And another photo I wanna show you, because now that I have my SF3 and I'm working out here, oh man, the photo's not very good. Just, I wanted to document back. I'm working my back a lot more now than I used to. Like when I would work back at, you know, Planet Fitness, I'd use maybe a couple machines where now I'm focusing an entire day or two days a week just on back and uh, biceps, so. I've got a lot of attachments. You can see the SF3 in the background there and my mirror there. I not only have the attachments that came with it, but I have bought a lot of third-party attachments off Amazon and I absolutely love that machine. So just a little update showing you the progress I've made from day one to day six, a little over six months. And as of right now, like I said, this is, it varies in price. I think it's somewhere around $30. It, some days I see it's like 28, sometimes it goes up a little more than that, but it's in the $30 range. 
for 60 pills, 500 milligrams per serving. Like I said, if you're just starting off, I recommend starting off on one and then you can just play around with it. You know, I take four, do I need to take four? I haven't completely figured that out yet. That's why I'm gonna drop down to two for a while to see if I notice any difference. Am I dropping weights again? Am I lowering? Do I feel not as much energy? We'll see. And also while we're talking about Black Forest, I wanna give you a little update on them. Right now, this is the only thing you can get off their website is the Turkesterone, but they have a new product coming out. I don't know all the details. Hopefully I can get my hands on it very soon. They've reached out to me, asked me if I was interested in checking it out, but I haven't heard anything back. I was like, yes, but I did get an email today, which some of you, if you've bought from them, may have gotten this email too. Is waking up sometimes difficult for you? Do you wish you had more energy? Are you annoyed by the slowdown of your metabolism as, you're, as you age? Do you wish you had the same energy, metabolism, and strength that you did in your early 20s? Obviously, if you're in your early 20s, this isn't gonna um, apply to you, but if you're older than that, if you said yes to most of these questions, then you are going to love what we have in store for you. We're about to release a supplement that is going to revolutionize the fitness industry and transform the way you live your life. So they have something new coming out. I don't have the exact date yet. Hopefully as soon as it does, I'll get my hands on it and obviously start taking it so I can keep you updated on that, how I feel, you know, what kind of changes I see on that. I will hope most likely keep taking this along with it. So keep an eye out from that. So as far as the frequency of these videos, I was doing them every week. Um, it just got to the point where I wasn't really noticing much change from week to week that it, there was a point in doing the weekly updates. Uh, so now it's kind of been like a month. Obviously it's been a, about a month since my last one. I don't know when the next one, probably the next one will be whenever I get my hands on this new product. I will definitely do a video on that. So. And then once I start taking that, I don't know, will be weekly, will be monthly. I'll figure it out once I get my hands on that new product. So keep an eye out for that. If you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I'll see you in the next video.